Hello family, God bless you. My name is Amel and this is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. I bring you prophetic messages daily from the Lord. I also come on live at least once every day that we pray and believe God for the things he has told us, for the promise, promises and the prophecies he has given that they manifest speedily. So if this is the first time you're coming across my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and check if you're already subscribed if not kindly go ahead and touch that subscribe button do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live praying or whenever there is a release of a fresh word you are not going to miss it i always say you never know when god has a direct and specific message for you you don't want to miss out on that and to all my returning subscribers you already know i love you I am always praying for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You'll be, let me read it. You'll be called up at work and forced to knock off early because you are urgently needed somewhere. You'll be called from work and forced to knock off early because you are urgently needed somewhere. This is a powerful prophetic word. This is an awesome, a great, mighty, mighty, mighty prophetic word. And I don't know why I am all smiles, but this is some great news. You are not going to be needed for evil, but they will call you and tell you to make haste because it's the day of your promotion. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel so excited in my spirit while saying this. It's going to be a day of your promotion and they will have to displace you speedily from your place of work to where your promotion is coming from because God has found you faithful. God has found you worthy of, of, of greater. The Bible says such men are, are, are deserving of double honor. You have done, you know, the thing is that a lot of people try to do to things to please men. But people who get reward are those who do things because they love God and they are trying to serve humanity or whatsoever the case. The Bible says the God who sees in secret is going to honor you in public. The God who sees in secret is going to honor you in public. You have been doing your best. You have been working, putting on extra hours. You have been doing certain things that is even out of your work. And you thought no one was seeing it. God was seeing it. And he says, now is the time for him to honor you. Now is the time for him to give you a reward. Now is the time for him to celebrate you. Immediately, I heard this word. One scenario came to my mind. The story of David. David was more or less like an outcast. Why do I say that? David was about the last of his home. And yet he was the one that was sent into the field to take care of his father's sheep. And when we hear, when we read the story of David and the things he was able to fight and defeat in the field, we understand it was a dangerous zone. It was not a place where you only have domestic animals. It was a place where um, even wild animals could invade and probably kill you see he killed the lion and the bear have you ever thought about the fact that they could have killed him and no one was there to fight for him because it was dangerous for him to be on the field he killed those things without the help of anyone and why he did that he never ever came back home and told his parents or his siblings this is what i have done he did it and he stayed quietly and when god felt after God had rejected Saul and God felt like they need more they need another king to replace King Saul and he sent they he sent the prophet Samuel to the house of JC and said go and make for me a king in the house of JC and so the prophet Samuel came and all the sons of JC except um, David was at home and he said okay I am here to anoint one of your sons as kings he began to pour the oil on each and every one of them but unfortunately they all won't pour because none of them present were the king none of them present was the chosen one and and after 
uh, Samuel had tried, I mean, gone through all the kids, he realized the person God was talking about was not in that gathering. And so he asked the father, are these all of your children? Just so we are sure. And the father said, ah, oh, there's just, um, there's one more in the field. But I really, I can just imagine his attitude, how he behaved to that. There is just another one in the field, but I don't think that could be the one. I like what Prophet Samuel said. He said, send, call for him. We are not going to sit until he comes. Oh my goodness. What degree of honor. He said, none of us is going to sit until he comes. David was in his place of work. He had not gotten to the time when he wants to close. He was still in active service. Probably it was still in the early hours of the day and he was still just doing his, his work. But a message came to him where he was that he was urgently needed back home because God had chosen him to be anointed as king. Of course, the messenger did not convey that, but they just told him, you're urgently needed at home. And when he came back, the prophet poured the oil and to God be the glory, the oil poured because he was the chosen one. He was the one that God had decided to honor. He was the one that God had decided to reward for everything he did in the sacred and never uh, asked for any accolade. God decided to make him the king. God decided to honor him like that. And God says, I should tell someone, you might be doing something and no one appreciates you for it. You might be doing something and you're hoping that maybe at the end of the year that they should give you a recognition award and nobody talks about it. A day is coming. Just keep doing what you're doing. A day is coming where you're going to be needed somewhere urgently for a promotion because of your services, because of what you have been doing. And I pray that day comes for you early in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the day of your double honor comes speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. May God honor your labor of love. May God honor your sacrifices. May God bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I love you so much, family. Like you already know, uh, uh, you are always a prayer point for me. I always position myself in a place where I can hear God for you. And I really do hope that this message has blessed someone. Hallelujah. God bless you.